Turkish Sana. Well, I'm uh, the CEO of Together for Haiti, and I'm also ambassador international for Jog Free World. And then this is an event that I'm putting together to get all the uh, head together, to get all the knowledgeable people together so we can show that uh, no matter where you may come from, uh, we are one nation, we are one world, and together we can do great things. Well, uh, Drug Fuel, uh, we are in 122 countries, and we help millions of people wherever they may be. We understand thousands of uh, young people are dying almost every day because they're using drugs. Uh, there are up to 25 different types of drugs, and when the kids do drugs now, that lessen the, uh, the ability to learn, that lessen the ability to understand what's going on uh, around them. And this is why Jog Fuel want to help them, want to educate them, want, want to uh, help them understand the effect that drugs has on them so in turn they can uh, know exactly how to behave and how to uh, help other uh, people around them. That's why Drug Fuel is an amazing organization uh, and we're helping the whole world and we urge everyone to understand what we do and help us spread the news and help us educate the whole world on drugs. Why is drug education and prevention necessary? Why is drug education and prevention necessary? Drug education and prevention is necessary because this is the only way we can change the whole world. This is the only way we can uh, change the mentality of people. This is the only way we can lessen uh, the death uh, uh, that's going on, the, the accident, uh, the killing. Because when you're doing drugs, you don't care about your family, you don't care about your peers, you don't care about your community, you're just killing. You just do the bad thing. So drugs, education, and prevention is great because that will help us to have a face community that will help us to have a safe world. That's why we endorsing Drug Free World and we give our time, our knowledge and our resources to educate our young people, to educate our police officers, to educate our elected officials so they can educate the people.